smell the coffee? It's Monday here at Muscle in the Morning, and I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is August 27th, 2018. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I'm not going to lie here. If it weren't for the fact that I know Hugh Jackson was a terrible football coach, I would be really pumped up about the Cleveland Browns this year after watching these first few episodes of Hard Knocks on HBO. But since I already know the Browns are going to stink, because that's what they do, they're the Browns. They always stink. I think I'll just put my Ohio sports hopes on the shoulders of Michael Lockett. Bright and early this morning, we saw the veteran big man cranking out a few reps in honor of International Chess Day. According to reports, the CEO of Team Lockett is primed and ready to kick some butt in his second career Olympia effort. So if he can live up to the billing, hopefully all the Ohio diehards out there can take solace in the fact that at least one thing in the sports universe hasn't turned into a dumpster fire. You know, normally I'm not a huge fan of sweaty guys and techno music jammed into the same place, but I have to admit that it's working for Lucas Ocelot in his new road to the Olympia video. Over the weekend, Ocelot and his team dropped a clip from their latest update that shows the shredded Czech superstar getting down and dirty with a little bit of fist-pumping techno-funk. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure if I'm more excited about Ocelot's crazy conditioning or the fact that the music in the video makes me want to grab some glow sticks and hit some of those after-hours clubs on South Beach at 3 a.m. But either way, the sheer fact that this video even exists has to be a major win for the bodybuilding world right about now. I don't know what it feels like to carry the weight of an entire island on your back when you're the first guy since Gustavo Bedell to represent your homeland on the Mr. Olympia stage. But I do know that the pride of Puerto Rico, Alexis Rolón, seems like he's handling it pretty well. Today we caught a quick glimpse of the man himself knocking out a few sets of cable crossovers in his latest international chest day salute as he continues to plug away down the home stretch of his Olympia prep. By and large, Rolone is one of the more exciting guys in the show with the drama and flair that he brings to the stage. And from a media standpoint, I think it would be a really cool idea to see him compete for a spot in the top 10 to really tie a nice ribbon around the whole Olympia story. A wise man once said there are no unrealistic goals, only unrealistic deadlines. And right now the goal and the deadline both seem like they're in pretty good shape for bikini standout Romina Basualdo. Over the last week or so, the Argentinian Flash has been dropping almost daily updates and letting her fans know that she's coming into this year's Olympia contest ready to play for keeps. When she's been at her best, she's always been right on the edge of that fine line of having just enough fullness and the perfect level of conditioning. And as long as she can figure out how to get that sweet spot between now and next month, I don't see any reason why she won't be vying for a top five finish. As the old proverb states, necessity is the mother of all invention. And when you're less than three weeks away from standing on stage with the best bikini athletes on the planet, I don't think what you do in the gym can get more necessity than that. Over the weekend, we saw a few new updates leak out from bikini superstar Jen Ronziti, who's looking to come back and pay off a debt to the bikini gods she left on the table with last year's runner-up Olympia finish. Pound for pound, I'm of the opinion that Ronziti is right up there with the best in the sport from a talent standpoint. So as long as she takes care of business on her end and lets everything else fall into place, she stands as good a shot as anyone to be the last woman standing when the dust finally settles. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.